Sophie and of a before and after pictures, I will fight to live. Every day, Sophie is in a life and death struggle with the killer disease diabetes. But suddenly she is facing a string of haters on social media and she is pleading with the public. I'm doing the right thing. I will fight to live, she said. Social media went crazy over the weekend when photos of Sophie hit the internet. The much-loved actress, Sophie Likaba, 46, who previously played the popular role of Queen Moroka on Generations, has set the record straight about her weight loss. She hit back at poisonous haters through her Instagram account after comments on social media. People commit suicide because of pressure from negative heartless people, she said. I'm just surprised that grown people share such heartless opinions when families are praying, fasting for goodness and health. I fight daily to live for my children and family. Sophie said she turned herself around and lost weight by eating healthy, which she does not regret. I will never hide for anyone. Life is too precious. I'm sending my love to all friends and family concerned about my weight and health, she posted. Living with diabetes does not mean my life must stop. I made a conscious choice to eat properly and lose weight, said the actress. I want to encourage those who are struggling with obesity and say don't worry what people think even if they will think you're dying. Sophie said being overweight landed her in hospital, hence the decision on weight loss. I will eventually reach my weight goal through healthy eating. I am excited that God allowed me to go through this test to save lives. Fortunately people have responded positively on social media, encouraging Sophie to stay strong. She was diagnosed three years ago, she told Daily Sunday I found out walking in a mall after a lunch meeting. Suddenly I could not read shop front wording and names. I walked slowly to a pharmacy to buy a diabetes tester and I was on 19 instead of a regular average reading of 6. Treating my late parents allowed me to identify I might be diabetic, said Sophie. Monitoring a healthy eating lifestyle was key, and remember eating healthy is not cheap either. She urged people with diabetes to make sure they are home tested twice a day and to create a chart that monitors consistency and inconsistency of sugar levels. It was important to know when to drink a lot of water and take walks to bring sugar levels down. I would like to tell Mzansi to stop labeling when we see drastic body changes. There is TB which is not necessarily linked to HIV. People with chronic disease are more prone to get different illnesses because their immune system is low. Give support, encouragement, and neighborly love. These heartless assumptions must stop. It's an evil act.